Hi there, welcome to the start of our week as we pause in our day by day uh, sessions. And this week, particularly in mind as we start the first full week of lockdown, that uh, we lift them up and pray for those with uh, mental health um, concerns and issues that we want to stand in the gap to support, pray, and encourage uh, people in our town, in our families, in our community. Uh, over this week and each day we're going to focus on different aspects of mental health um, this is not a teaching series it's more uh, an encouragement to pray for various things um, over this week culminating in a, a time on Friday of a national day of prayer that all the leaders across the country uh, have just called for a time that we're going to pray for our nation and we want to partner with that too. Uh, today we want to focus on uh, depression and praying uh, really in two aspects. One, for those who suffer with depression, and secondly, for those who are supporting people and walking alongside those with depression. Uh, and those two aspects. And Psalm 88 is uh, one of those Psalms that I, I think sort of captures and um, uh, really gives us a, a good reflection on uh, those times of feeling uh, depressed. Uh, I know from those who have suffered, um, they've commented on Psalm 88, and it's one of those Psalms that doesn't finish with a sense of hope. There's no sort of but and the Lord or anything. Uh, it is a, a real deep cry of being uh, confined, overwhelmed in the pit. Um, and really verse 13 is, is the, the ray of light in um, a Psalm that is deeply reflective. And it says, but I cry to you for help, Lord, in the morning, my prayer comes to you. And then he reflects and he says, why, do you, Lord, do you reject me and hide your face from me? So even though he's praying, it's just like it feels so heavy. And I, I think our prayer this morning for those who uh, are suffering with depression is that encouragement to keep the door open of praying. And to keep that knowledge and understanding of that God is there in the midst. Uh, and still wants to be with you, still loves you incredibly. So let's just pray along those lines first. Heavenly Father, uh, Lord, we lift up our cries for those who suffer from uh, depression alongside with them. Lord, we uh, pray for that cry of help. Lord, we pray for that power of your spirit to meet people uh, in the most significant of ways. Lord, that wraps your arms around them. Lord, that reminds them that you love them no matter what. Lord, that your love holds them in all circumstances. Lord, in the depths of despair, Lord, in the darkest of paths. So thank you, Father, that you are the light of the world and the one who loves immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine. So we pray, Lord, uh, this morning, today, for those who we know in our families, those in our community, those in our church family, uh, those in our nation that are suffering from depression, Father, we pray for your arms of love, that depths of your light and grace, Lord, to reach into all that they are, um, Father, and hold them in Jesus' name. Amen. The other aspect uh, I want to pray for this morning is for those who are supporting and walking alongside those who are suffering with depression. You know, one of the worst phrases I think I, I, I hear that sometimes not always said out loud, but is, um, almost an underlying assumption or a feeling is for people with mental health issues just to buck up. I think it's one of the worst things you could ever think or say uh, because if it was that easy, people would do it. Um, and even we can sometimes over spiritualize that sense of feeling of people to buck up. It's like, or oh, just take a bit of scripture and, and meditate on it and buck up. Well, if it was that simple, everyone would do it and it would be fine, but it's not. And I think one of the things when we uh, come to pray for those who are supporting people with mental health issues like depression is that actually you come to a place of, I don't understand. I don't know everything. Uh, I don't have all the answers to a, a, a changing multifaceted um, uh, illness uh, that I can't put my finger on and just say, this is what you need because it changes day by day, moment by moment. And so actually coming with a sense of helplessness and a sense of service 
uh, and really just trying to walk alongside someone as a good friend does is the best starting point. And so we're going to pray along those lines um, and uh, we'll just pray together for those who support and are ministering to each and every person who is uh, suffering from depression. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we uh, want to come and acknowledge our weakness this morning. Lord, we, we don't know everything. We don't know all the facets. Uh, Father, for someone suffering depression, what they're thinking, what they're going through, we want to acknowledge our weakness and our helplessness. Uh, Father, in knowing what the perfect thing is to do, we pray for your wisdom. We pray, Lord, for that love of God to be poured into our hearts, Lord, so that we know what love means to those that we're walking with, those that we're seeking to love. Lord, we know when to speak and to keep making contact, even if we've been let down. We know when to sort of give some space. So I pray, Father, that we would just know in our own hearts, Lord, when we're just wanting to love and communicate with those uh, who are suffering during this time and onwards. But Father, we recognize our helplessness, but just that you are there, Lord, bringing wisdom. May we be sensitive to your spirit, sensitive to that leading and guiding. Lord, pray that we would um, know that 10 second rule, Lord, that when we are, are thinking of someone, that we just make that urgent call, that text, that email, Lord, and not just ignore it and say, how are you doing? And even if there's no response, Lord, it doesn't matter. Just that people know that others are caring and thinking is enough. So help us to do that. Help us to be wise in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you this week uh, as we continue to think and pray for others.